Inside of here, we have the brand new Zhuan Crane 3S. And this is exciting for a couple different reasons. First thing I ask when I see a new gimbal, what can it fly? Is it made for phones? Is it made for mirrorless cameras? On the packaging itself, there's a photo of a red with an ingenue easy cine lens on there. Not a small setup. <laughs> Oh, this is the gimbal I usually use to fly the red. So as you can imagine, having something this small packs into a suitcase, awesome. So already, I'm already impressed at the size and weight of this thing and also price point. Right now they're selling this kit here for 700 39 bucks and it looks like if you don't care to have this rear grip here you can get it for 649 bucks comparing that to other gimbals that can fly a package like this that's not bad at all now this is going to be more of a first impressions video because it's actually my first time setting it up and juan is sponsoring this video so there's going to be a really dope giveaway coming up so we obviously have our gimbal itself here and this has a 3 8 inch screw so bigger than your typical quarter inch we got a latch and and that just slides into the back here and we're gonna lock that in. As always, love 18650 batteries. They're easy to come by, they're powerful, they're inexpensive. And then we have our base plate. I'm not 100% sure if this fits a Manfrotto tripod. And we also have two little rods here for follow focus. This actually looks like it's a little bit smaller than your standard 50 millimeter rail. Something to keep into account. This looks like a lens support. So that could be nice with heavier lenses and also I know that this helps stabilize the camera on this base plate sometimes too. We also have what looks like a little block to elevate your camera on this base plate a little bit. This is kind of a must have for a lot of mirrorless cameras. Now this little accessory is something I don't think we'll be needing because we have this external arm here, but if you don't have this arm, then this comes into play. And this is an extender for the arm. So that is actually pretty interesting. Apparently we're gonna be able to extend out this arm here when you have a bigger, longer camera set. So that's definitely something we're gonna have to try out in a bit. Kind of want to test the limits of this. This claims a 6.5 kilogram payload. What's 6.5 kilograms in pounds? The answer is 14.33 pounds. We'll just start small with our Canon EOS R and work our way up. We got to start off by installing this block onto this plate. And we got to do that because the lens is a bit bigger than the camera itself. So here's the bottom of the camera and it will hit. So by attaching this block, it's going to give the lens a little bit of clearance. Nice touch is all the quarter inch screws that they give you have a slot for an Allen wrench. So you could go in and crank it down tighter with one of these. That's especially useful when you're using this block because when you try to go in and tighten a camera with this screw you have to reach through this slot and a screwdriver wouldn't really fit in there but this does and it is also the same size screw as what peak design has been incorporating into a lot of their mounts so that's cool all right all nice and secure and i'm just gonna leave this microphone on here i mean we're way in the clear in payload so why not right it looks like we're all balanced pretty straightforward and just like juan's other gimbal i like how you can lock all the axes. It's useful when you're transporting it so it's not flopping around all over the place. And it could also help with balancing because then you can just focus on balancing one thing at a time. So you could lock everything in like this or you could also make it a little bit slimmer for transportation, something like that. And each of these locking mechanisms have three stages. So this is obviously loose. And then you could also flip it down and it basically stays loose until it locks into its position right there. So now it's in tight and then there's a fully locked position. So it's not going anywhere. Wow, you can definitely feel the strength of this thing, not bad. And it already feels good. They've definitely done a good job with their algorithm lately. So out of the box, it feels very fluid. You don't really have to go in and adjust much. It actually feels real nice having overpowered motors with even a setup as small as this. Cause let's say I wanna leave this microphone on here. There's a lot of gimbals that can do it, but as soon as wind starts blowing against it, I start to see the camera struggling a little bit to try to fight it. I say this worked pretty well. <laughs> and also with all the lenses that extend in and out as you zoom, this should be plenty to be able to support the difference so you don't have to rebalance every single time. Like this is my current go-to gimbal. This is the Weeble S and this is usually what I'm using when I'm shooting with this EOS R, although I do take off that top microphone for that. You can already see the difference in size, but there's definitely a difference in weight. This thing's perfect for mirrorless cameras and this EOS R with this pretty large lens, it balances it perfectly, but anything 
bigger than that is probably when you want to start looking at the crane three and we are doing a giveaway with this weeble s so for a chance to win drop a comment down below within the first 24 hours of this video going live i know you'll love it it's my personal favorite gimbal for small cameras so far so good but no surprises there i mean it's an eos r of course it's not going to have any problems let's go put on some bigger packages so here's the c300 mark ii with the sigma 18 to 35 it's actually feeling pretty good on here. Now this is just a small thing, but I appreciate the little things. The lever you use to loosen up the base plate, it also presses up against the safety release button. So in one motion, you can release the camera. It's simple, but it works and it makes your workflow just that much easier. It does bump that eyepiece right there like it does with a majority of other gimbals. So let's try installing the extender arm to try to give it a little bit more clearance. So here's the extension piece. I'm gonna slap that into right here. Good news, it's actually very easy to do. It's just a matter of taking off four screws, attaching the extension part throwing in this rubber sleeve to cover up the cable and then attaching the head on the other side oh yeah now that is what i call clearance look at that no problem at all next i was going to try to attach this bigger lens it's the sigma 24 to 70. anyone's tried to balance a c300 mark ii on other gimbals before you're jealous right here look at that eyepiece Zhoo. Lots of clearance. This is definitely gonna start burning your arms pretty quickly like this, but when you're under slug mode, I could probably do this all day. All right, so we have the red setup on here, and first of all, it fits, it balances. And this is kind of crazy to me because every time I put this on a gimbal, I have to strip it way, way down, meaning everything that can come off the camera should come off the camera and the attachments, you have to keep everything very minimal. But I literally just bunched everything on here, including the monitor. We have a nucleus follow focus here and a Teradek here. Now Zhuwen does have their own follow focus system, but I wanted to put the setup that I usually use on my jobs on here, like the Teradek. I'm gonna weigh this setup afterwards and here's how much it ended up weighing. It's on the heavy side for sure. Oh, the gimbal seems to be strong enough. I'm not strong enough though. And look at this though. Cool clearance. Okay, I'm impressed. I, I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Now this is Juwin's wireless transmitter, which can just click in right there. It's a good low profile solution. This can wirelessly transmit your video feed from your HDMI to a receiver, but also to the app. So your phone or iPad, I believe it's up to three devices and it stays nice and tucked down here out of the way of all this going on up here. I also think it's interesting that this transmitter has a built in battery in here up to an hour and a half, I believe. So you can take this off of here, put it onto a hot shoe of a camera. And of course, all this works with the ZY Play app. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it with Bluetooth. And that's how I can wirelessly control this through the phone. There's also the sync motion option. So as soon as I activate that, that is going to synchronize with my phone movements. Pretty cool. So definitely some cool things to explore there, but let's go take this out and shoot. I got a couple of test shots with the C300 Mark II. Now I wanna say this is a pretty ideal camera for this setup. It's got that great dual pixel autofocus in there and weight wise, it's not a lightweight camera, but it's also not a heavy camera. So it's reasonable to run around with it for a little while and get your shots you need. Now the weight definitely started getting to me after a little while. If your shoot's the type where you can get a few shots, put it down, get a few more shots and then put it down, then you'll probably be fine with this. The shots come out looking smooth and it's predictable, but the weight definitely will get to you if your shoot is a type where you have to keep it up and you have to move around for 20 minutes at a time, like no way. I asked Yuen about this, they said there's a whole bunch of stuff already in the works. Now the simplest way is to shoot inverted and you could either hook something up to this 3 8 inch right here or you can clamp something down to this handle. But that's more of a temporary fix. One of the accessories they're working on with small rig is a ring design. So you can hold it on the sides, you can attach an easy rig to the top. So that's gonna be one of the first things I'd wanna get for this setup here. Also this company called Digital Photo reached out and they said they have an accessory that will work with this. So I'm excited to test that out. But again, this is more of a first impressions type of deal. I definitely wanna follow up with a full in-depth video with this after I have a chance to beat it up a little bit, take it through its paces. So make sure you're subscribed to see that when that comes 
comes out. But first impressions, really impressed with this thing considering what it can do for the size and price. Anyway, should we wrap this up by reading a few comments from my last video, which was all about the Samsung S20 Ultra camera phone. What's interesting is that that camera shoots 8K, which is kind of the overrated spec. Glenn says, honestly, I'm not that impressed with the image out of that thing. Too much processing going on in my opinion. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, that's the thing with cameras, right? Just because it's 8K doesn't mean it's gonna be an amazing image. You really need good lenses, a good sensor, just everything to be good for it to work out. When you realized your first phone did not have a camera at all. Damn, I'm getting old. Yeah, isn't that crazy to think about how special it is just to have any sort of camera in your phone? My first phone wasn't even a flip phone. I wanted a flip phone, but it was just like some Motorola black like block. It had snake on it, so that was dope. But then I got the Razer for a little bit. That was like the sh one of the videos I thought would be fun is to do the original iPhone versus the iPhone 10 or iPhone 11. So I got one and I was gonna use it to shoot video clips. And then I realized that phone didn't even shoot video. So I never ended up making that video. <laughs> I like how you have the cinematic sequence going and Sam opened the door to a bunch of McDonald's trash. McDonald and Tesla, oh my God. <laughs> you guys are so observant. How'd you guys even see that was McDonald's? But anyways, that's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna start testing this thing heavily, beat it up a little bit, and we'll be back with a full review.